This is Thursday, and I hope you're having a good day so far. If it's morning, good morning or good afternoon. And uh, some of you, I know, listen to this in your car, so be careful. Keep your eyes on the highway and all that stuff. I have uh, a quote that help, hopefully will help you to stimulate your thinking. How's that? Love is when you take away the feeling, the passion, the romance, and you find out you still care for that person. That's, that's good, actually. So hope that stimulates you to a good, a good place. We are in where the Mark chapter 12, and it's, we're going to start with verse 29. I'll explain to you the context. Uh, a lawyer comes up and asks Jesus, what's the most important commandment? And so Jesus answers, and probably you all know what he says, right? The most important one Jesus answered is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. So, uh, and then, then later on, when Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God to, to this man that asked this question. So, uh, matter of fact, he wasn't a lawyer. He was a teacher of the law. Sorry about that. Um, so let's talk about that. Uh, for four weeks, I talked about focus and mindset and, 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 and doing, doing those things with your brain, knowing that, your feelings are in charge, but your your mind. And, and then I said, your focus is what controls your mind. Your mind controls your brain. Just remind you, uh, you remember that. I'm gonna say that again. Uh, our our brains are controlled by our minds, and our minds are controlled by our focus. Uh, you can focus your mind. You don't have to be riddled and go hither and yon all over the place. And so many people are controlled by their emotions and they, they instead of their mind controlling their emotions. And it's proven, it's science. It's proven you can't control your emotions. I'm trying to give some of you hope because I know sometimes people will say, I, I just can't do that. It gives me too much anxiety. And yet it's a commandment in the Bible. So, you know, let... Let your mind control your emotions. But it's what you focus on. If you focus on fear, the bad, all that. Do you know they've studied like 85% of the things you think are going to happen bad to you never happen? It's way up there. Uh, they actually did a, a research. They sit down and ask people what, what they're fearing that's coming up. And then they talk to them afterwards. And, oh, no, it was, it was fine. The meeting went great. And blah, blah, blah. We can build up stories so much. It, it is it's unbelievable the stories we tell ourselves. And guess what? You don't have to believe everything you think. <laughs> That's a novel idea to some people. So this is a focus, okay? One, hero is of the Lord thy God is one. And that, that's so important uh, because as one Hindu who came to faith Said he was praying to this one particular God, and then the thought hit him: wonder if that God is in a fight with this other God, because they believe their gods fight each other. Okay, just like Greek mythology, the different gods they they made up that that they fought fought each other. Okay, which which is like okay they had they had like superpowers, but they they had sin in their life, and the same thing with the Hindu gods. And he thought. Well, th this God that I'm praying to may not be able to pay attention to me because he's in a feud with another God. And he kept going with that logic and concluded there has to be a God that is just one God and that isn't off, you know, fighting other gods. And then he ran into a man and the man gave him the Gospel of John. He read it and came to faith. So... This is important. One, you got one God. And then it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart. Okay? That's your desires. That's your affections. You know, the Bible talks more about the heart than the mind. Because, you know, when, when you hear people say the heart wants what the heart wants, well, that's true. But again, you can control your desires. 
you can focus your heart, your desires on the good things. And with all your soul, that, that unseen part of you, your uh, that unconscious and conscious part of you, with all your soul and with all your mind. Now, a lot of, a lot of people, especially East Coast, West Coast, think Christians are just numbskulls and they're not bright which means they don't know history because it was Jonathan Edwards who was a president of Princeton. It was Christians who started uh, Oxford and who started uh, Princeton and Yale and Harvard. They were divinity schools, okay? So uh, Christianity is not anti-intellectual. That's why it says love God with all your mind, with all your mind. You, you gotta put your intellect into it as well and focus on, on God. S some of the deepest writings you'll ever read are th theological writings, because you have to have kind of a f philosophical mind or a ph philosophy degree to, in order to understand what these writers are saying. So it's not anti-intellectual. It's un unbelievable. Now, some Christians come across anti-intellectual, but I don't want you to be that way. And with all your strength, in other words, don't, don't don't be cavalier about loving God and just give a little bit to God. Give, give, give all you have to God because he's worthy. No one else is worthy of all, uh, all of you. Uh, no project, no job, nothing. But God is worthy because we're going to spend eternity with God. So that today, think about um, on this Thursday, you loving God. And, and what does that look like? And, and tell God at times that you, you love him and, and adore him and, and that you revere him. And I even tell God I fear him. I don't tremble, but I, I know he is great and mighty and awesome. <laughs> we, we probably overuse the word awesome too much. Uh, I was stopped at a restaurant, had, had to eat before I went to a meeting. And every time I ordered something, the guy said, awesome. <laughs> and, and, and he said, Are you, you, do you need some more water? I said, yes, that's awesome. I'm like, he used awesome all the time. I, I, I wanted to say, that's not awesome. Me, my order is not awesome. But God is. Let me pray. Lord, thank you so much for your goodness and mercy. Thank you, Lord, that you allow us to love you, that you brought Jesus in this world, and you, you Jesus, taught us to love. So help us to love you, God with all of our heart, mind, soul, strength, all of that. In Jesus' name, amen.